Sean Cranish, the EMF Explorer from ElectraHealth.com here, and this is a follow-up to the video about the Samsung refrigerator emitting RF radiation all the time. So here was my solution, and I got a lot of emails from many, many people uh, looking forward to the solution. In this case, it was really easy. Hopefully, if you're facing this problem, it's as easy for you, um, but here's what the back of my refrigerator looked like. Um, on the back, there was a nice panel in the top right corner. You can see there's three screws here holding the, the panel in. Let's see if I can get you a, another close-up. You can see it's just three screws, one here, one here, and one here. They're just regular Phillips screws. Now, uh, before undoing any screws or opening anything in the refrigerator, make sure you unplug it. That's very important. You want to definitely unplug it uh, so there's no live electricity coming to it. Okay, here's inside, so we have a printed circuit board. Um, here's a little power supply. So I was looking around here at first when I opened it up, and I'm, I'm looking for some kind of an, an antenna, some kind of a, a radio transmitter. Um, so at first I was looking over here, and then I realized, no, that's just a, just a power supply. Um, then I'm looking around here on the printed circuit board, and I didn't see anything that looked like a radio transmitter. So then I started looking at each of the cables here and reading what the cables said, if uh, some were labeled. And I came across a little blue clip cable, and it looked like it said Wi-Fi module above it. Here's a close-up. You can see, indeed, it says Wi-Fi module. It's the, it was the only blue-colored uh, clip. All the others were white. So with the refrigerator already off, of course, I simply unplugged that clip, just squeezed the little clip thing and pulled it straight out. I just tucked it up in here. It fit um, above this little uh, holder, this little uh, thing that's holding the printed circuit board. It just fit up there. I mean, you could always use electrical tape or something, but um, on the clip itself, there's no exposed contacts. You have to uh, go in a little ways. It's designed to have pins inserted into it, so it's not uh, not a concern even if it did get loose, but it's not going to move anywhere. So I just stuck it up there. Um, here's a zoom out of that. You can see it was as easy as unclipping that little cable. So I spent probably around three hours on the phone with Samsung, talked to uh, six different people, and then even a couple uh, local appliance uh, companies, repair companies that Samsung referred me to and uh, nobody uh, wanted to help or could help. Um, Samsung wouldn't let me talk to anybody to tell me how to do it so I just opened up the panel and found it was as easy as unclipping that little blue clip. And I verified it, I, I uh, put the panel back on, verified it, turned the refrigerator on, everything works just as before, everything functions great. The only difference is there's no microwave radiation emitting from the refrigerator now. So uh, problem solved. This was an easy one, and I hope that it's helpful. So the big thing is uh, if you haven't measured your appliances, definitely get an RF meter. Um, the Acoustimeter is a good one. The, the HF35C is still my favorite because of its directionality, but the Acoustimeter is also a great meter. That's the one I used in the previous video. Um, so visit our site, electrahealth.com and uh, support the work that we continue to do. And uh, we will find some more interesting things to help us all live a little bit safer with a little bit less exposure to RF and dirty electricity and magnetic fields, various types of EMF. So thank you very much. Signing out.